Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulher from Modern Salon TV. We are here at Boston Salon Capri on Newberry Street. I am here with owner and master cutter, Nick Penna, who is demonstrating a cut for us. But you started doing something so cool and I thought we could break this out and make this a little special highlight. You're showing how to do uh, slide cutting to create beachy waves. And you're here at the midpoint, so kind of break this down for us. Sure. Um, so when I get into the midsection of the hair, um, I like to create a couple of different lengths in the hair, which gives a little bit of texture. Um, this cut primarily is worn with a little bit of a beach curl, so it's really nice to see after a few different lengths in there and a few different textures going on in the hair. So when we get to the mid um, section of the hair, we do a nice slide cutting technique that's going to just kind of break it up a little bit and remove a little bit of weight and create a diff couple of different dimensions to the hair. What I love is what you do when you slide cut. So, so give us a little demo. Well, so one of the things that we teach our stylists here at Salon Capri is that we don't want to take the hair and slide the shears down the shaft. Um, we don't want to rough up the cuticle or create any kind of frizz or, uh, or make the hair roughed up a little bit. So what we like to do is we take the hair and we use kind of an open-close technique with the shears as we slide down the shaft. This way we're cutting the hair and coming off a little bit more smooth and not roughing up that cuticle. And you actually were, were shimmer, shimmying it, is that the right word? Exactly, well I'm opening and closing the shears and using it right at the pivot point and just kind of open and close just very lightly as you come down the shaft of the hair. All right, now talk about elevation and tension. So I'm, I'm not using either a lot of elevation or a lot of tension. So I like that lived in look so what I like to do is just kind of pick the hair up very organically, very naturally, and just kind of hold it with a little, you know, just a little bit of tension, but not a lot, and at a very low elevation to create kind of that longish layer. You know, we don't want to bring too much up there, and we don't want to have the pieces be too short. Okay, and then I noticed that you prepped the hair. I loved how you yeah. prepped it. Uh, so I use a prep spray from L'Oreal. This is called Brush Proof. And it's a wonderful spray um, for cutting. It really smooths the cuticle out, gets rid of any frizz, it strengthens the hair, it has biotin in it, so it's really nice to strengthen the hair while you're cutting. And techniques like this, you know, you should really have a prep spray or something in the hair that helps the shear slide down the shaft. Okay, but I also love how you applied it. You did not spray it on the hair. No, we actually spray it directly onto a brush and then brush the hair through. So Why? To remove detangles, and it actually saves you a ton of time behind the chair getting out any of those tangles and the, you know, what usually t can take up to 10 minutes, you know, combing somebody out. Okay. And then my last question is, you said it's very important that you have a sharp shear, that your tools Absolutely. are up to par. Talk Absolutely. about that. Well, your tools definitely need to be up to par to do any kind of haircut or any kind of techniques like this. You need your tools up to par, you need a nice sharp shear, take good care of your equipment, you know, make that investment, that initial investment. I mean, the shears that I use, I've been using for 20 years. And I mean, if you take care of them properly, that's how long a good quality shear should last you. Well, this is so great. Again, we are here at Salon Capri in Boston. Nick Penna, cool guy. Thanks a lot. I'll let you get back to your cut. Thanks.